to go home with. But we are locked in. We have Peach and Rosa versus Meta Knight and Sora. Winners finals starting on uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. I was about to say PlayStation 2. Good heavens. It'd be like that, but definitely a really balanced stage for both of these teams right now. Booty switching over from Cloud to Meta Knight I find is really interesting. Oh, did you see how how slick that uh, up token version was? Oh, it really was good. I feel like the, the switch to Mennonite is probably due to the fact that uh, Rosalina is definitely a lot more floatier because Th this is really This is versions. absolutely a Rosa counterpick. Most character. definitely. I know. <gasps> oh, and really good mm. right there. Boost awareness, being able to get the backer, getting the co off on the side. That was unfortunately timed. Unfortunately for them, not unfortunate for Booty. Yeah, true, true. And right now, he's just kind of killing it. This Mennonite switch is looking to be really good on their end. All good. Alright, right, so we're gonna throw him off stage. What's the fob going to be? Are we going to pursue or we're just gonna let him rock? Oh, we're gonna let him rock. And Charlotte trying to get a gim maybe with the with the upbeat, but nothing coming out of it. That's another good thing about uh, Meta Knight, just five jumps. You have to uh, work a little harder to edge guard this character. Especially in a setting like doubles, those five jumps could definitely mean a lot in just taking that stock right there. And 146 is looking kind of scary right now for Booty, but goes in for the cape right there, almost getting the kill. Ooh, okay, Ray going for the save, but uh, Karkson was quick to catch on the landing and uh, she's already down to her last stock. Yeah, this is looking really grim right now for the two of them. And just going out of the way just to kill Luma, I feel kind of bad now. <laughs> I mean, that's that's so important, especially... Yeah, and doubles, like, to, to play Rosalina to keep your Luma alive against two people gunning for your tall head? Ooh. That's a, that's a testament to just how good Ray is with this character. And then notice how Booty's just kind of waiting around for them to start swinging out moves and going oh. immediately afterwards to punish. It doesn't get anything out of that, but that's, still puts them in a really bad position. That was a big uh, offstage scramble there. Oh, tried to hit him with the noops. Oh, but Thundaga catching Rosa at the peak of the double jump. And an up smash coming out from Karkson right there, taking this Shell's last rough. off. Yeah, this is looking maybe really tough right now. I think they're probably going to be trying to think of some stages they can might go to for game two, because this is looking like a really clean win right now for Booty and Karkson. Now I wonder... My, now I'm just pondering, like, are they going to try and finish things optimally or go for the flashiness? If I know Booty, it's going to be the flashiness. Yeah, the, 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 these two players... They're cocky when they can be, I say. Oh, hold on. All right. All right. I thought I was going to lead something Ooh. else. And unfortunately, that's like in the stock <laughs> right there. Karkson with the awareness. At 67? Good lord. Then again, I think Sora had a lot of rage. but Sora really? definitely had a lot of rage. And Rosa being as high as she is, uh, it's pretty reasonable. In a game like Smash, at least. Yeah, yeah. Just that move is so strong. Like, almost deceptively so. Like, you wouldn't... I wouldn't expect like a metal key to do yeah, they're definitely that much damage, but yeah, good lord. They're definitely thinking right now exactly what it is that they have to start changing up because I don't think PS2 is a stage that they really want to go to now. And uh, like I just said, going off into small battlefield. Mm -hmm. I think they really want to try to compact the two of them as close as possible so that they don't have any like room to run away. This is sound, but also this works for the other team as well. That is true. Because uh, small battlefield has a much smaller ceiling. Oh, that's right. Especially for a character Beware. like Mennonite. However, we are going to get the character change. Yeah, Ray is starting to get a little bit sweaty right now. Yeah, Ray changing the Palu now, which is the right call, I want to say. Most definitely, especially against a character like Mennonite, you don't want to be dying off on the top as Rosalina. Also, Sweet Squad theme is based. Oh my goodness. I think there's, there's a lot of Kirby games. Like they're, they're, they're kind of like Sonic in that... There's, like, no bad soundtracks ever. And can we just talk Almost. about how Ray already at 79%, all it took was a solid few up airs from Booty to put in that position right there. Yeah, yeah. Which is not how you want to start your game, too, but, you know, it's, it's still early. Things can turn around. I've definitely noticed, though, they're uh -oh. specifically gunning for Ray. They're, they're seeing him as, like, a big threat, and if they're able to take it off with the up beat, however, that doesn't get it. 
getting a little ahead of yourself, you forgot Palu has one of probably like top three up airs in the game, frankly. Oh, and that was a really weird interaction right there, immediately leading into the extra attack, sending off straight into the top, dying at 100. And a really good conversion right there with the back air. The Ooh, right now. Oh, I love that. Uh, booty cooking something up, but nobody was nearby him. Yeah, though, Meta Knight is just... He's able to just throw out S-Smashes like that because he's Meta Knight. Uh, fair enough. Minus Sh five shades on of, Shades of Brawl coming in. Right now, I think this is looking to be a lot better for Ray too, because as we saw before in the last game, as Rose and Leon, there was a really big struggle trying to come back the from ledge. Stool, and the footstool doesn't it's, mean nothing. But it's Sora. It's Sora. <laughs> Anyone else, I would have popped off, but no, it's Sora. Yeah, unfortunately. Sora and Bayo, like, you footstool and they're still coming back. But this is looking to be really good for Ray. We notice how there's a lot less offstage interaction with this character compared to when he went Rosalina. Yeah, and uh, Meta Knight's not getting his gameplay started up. Watch how you uh, throw out those uppies. Can we just say how Booty lives to 171 as a Meta Knight? Yeah, that is certainly Ooh, that's something. that's disgusting. Yeah. Both of them got caught in that nair loop. And Cheryl almost, almost taking Ray's stock right there. That would have been really sad. But for the F-Tilt to uh, two-frame, didn't quite clutch it out there. I feel like Karkson is focusing too much on trying to ledge trap uh, Ray when in reality he should be coming in and start supporting Booty. At this point, I think he's more than well aware now that trying to go for Ray offstage isn't going to be working out for them. Did it again, but it's Sora. It, it don't matter to this character. Wow, the last hit of sweep, sending uh, Chi offstage for trouble, but uh, still making it back, thankfully. Definitely, and with a two-stop lead at that too, she's gonna have to make sure she holds this as long as she can. Good save by Ray. Right, we are very close to Blue Team being uh, in a 2v1 situation. It's definitely Booty at 111%. Carson though, saying something bad, taking Sherlock to the last stop. Just taking it immediately, all right. Uh, honestly, at this point, you would much rather have two versus one. No, you're right. That said, uh, Sora's still a very light character. Gotta play it super careful. Most definitely. Oh, you, and you know that was coming. Oh, you, you, saw, you saw that foot about to wind up and send him down to the depths of hell. Yeah, can we just say that was really good timing coming up from Carlson's part. Making sure he didn't get hit by that and shielding just in time. He has to be careful, though. That's looking mighty low, especially against a character like Robin. Mm -hmm. <gasps> and he just got popped out, but it doesn't matter. The upper coming in, taking that stock, and Booty at 78% and counting. Are we about to get another game three, or is Udi gonna pull off the best miracle of bracket thus far? If he can somehow take Palutena's stock at 86%, he might have oh a chance right now, Lord. but he can't take one more of those. That's the problem! Oh, that's it. In the moment he got that grab, he knew he tried to do the up throw, maybe hoping he could get them on the landing impact, but unfortunately. Yeah, you, you don't get that if you're behind the character, unfortunately. And again, as I was saying earlier, like, when you're grabbing someone in doubles, it's way more of a commitment than it is in singles. Definitely. If we, the other if the other person's alive, anyway. We saw though in that game too. Like I said, even though you mentioned how it could have benefited Booty as well with his Meta Knight, he knew that he couldn't go Rosaline again. Switch the Palutena, and now their dynamic where one sort of stays on the opposite end, the other comes in to support. That's a lot more diminished as they have much less room to work around with that. Mm -hmm. And coming in on that game too, showing it was a, a fairly good lead on both of their ends. However, this now goes to game well, hold three. Up. Did I hear that right? What? I heard Piranha Plant. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, wait, I don't know if you want to start experimenting right now on game three. Game three or winner's finals? That, that'd that be the most ballsy play ever, but I would respect it. And no character Piranha's change coming probably a better way. doubles character than singles, if we're being honest. Probably. You're on to something. Going back into PS2, the stage that Booty and Karkson won, I think Ray and Milkshi definitely feeling a lot more confident on this stage with their character swaps. Yeah, I would say so. Wow, they're just Hold going on, in ladders, right now. Oh, we... <gasps> Wait, what happened? Booty just has steed, I think. Oh, I was, I was watching... I was watching Chi trying to make it back to stage. I know, I got really confused there for a second, too. Oh no, we're, gonna, we're probably going to get to replay for that, but uh, oh, that's you don't want to that see. to happen in your game three of winner's finals. And oh, you're Meta Knight, come on, you have five jumps. I know, but definitely, even though that, that happened, unfortunately, Booty and Karkson still holding on quite strong, not letting that defaze them. 
Oh, and that could have been a really good conversion right there, but Ray coming in, trying to put some pressure on Booty. Ooh, and the unfortunate mistech. We, we tech those. There's oh. a, that's a saying for a reason, but uh, unfortunately, Ray wasn't on the ball there, dropping his first stock. Oh, and Ray unfortunately coming into that side B, getting hit by that. Oh, and just didn't hold that was too such long. good coverage. Hello, that ooh, that those pairs of stocks, mm, beautiful, magic. Definitely, oh, that stock loss early on is definitely affecting Booty right now. At a single stock, where everyone else is oh, much more ahead. My lord. <laughs> Oh, Ray's definitely cooking something up on the side, but coming back in to support Cheryl. Tried to hit him with the corkscrew going down, didn't quite pan out. Oh, and a really good air dodge right there, just barely avoiding the up air. Up, up, and away. Oh, no, not quite. Oh, this is just looking really bad right now. Forward air, no back air somehow. Oh, I say that was what a good trade. What a trade. trade. <laughs> Most definitely. They show trying oh, to rush out right nukes, now. But got... not quite enough to get the kill. Oh, this uh, is looking similar to game two right here. You really needed that. Okay, good use of Blizzard coming up. But you committed to an up smash. And, uh, oh boy, Booty has an uphill battle to climb. Uh, kind of ironic considering the fact that the one that died first is out here last. Okay, I do like that. Oh, that could have been that sick. That would have been the hottest kill of this tournament so far. Oh, my God. Oh, they're in a really comfortable spot right now. Yeah, you can't challenge Meta Knight's forward smash on shield. Minus he just five. does it again for some reason. And off the stage right now, it's a really weird position. Able to retreat back on the center stage. Misses the dash attack. Oh, wait, another throw. This might be a really bad spot, but he unfortunately, oh, thankfully, the platform was there able to save him. Booty has to take the stock right now coming out from Milkshi, and he does. Wow! Oh, and now we're in a one-on-one one scenario. Game. Ray trying to left trap right there, rolling in, hoping for a back throw, but Booty gets a dash attack, gets nothing off Bo of that. Now, Booty has rage. Most Kalu definitely. is not the heaviest character. You can tell he's trying to get those upper chains, hoping oh, out, maybe get something baby. off on the top of the side. Another dash attack, misses the upper again, and Ray's aware of this. He's playing very defensive right now, not trying to overcommit, but misses the grab. The kicker about this is stale dash to oh. oh, that's might be it. Oh no! Oh, unfortunately, doesn't push forward just enough. And a really weird side be coming out from Ray, not hitting anything. Mm. This is so close. On oh, a really good teleport right there, just barely misses the downer. <gasps> you've you, got to be kidding me! You hate this, oh booty! Oh, you've no. got to be kidding me! Uh. In the most antsy climactic way ever, the set goes to. Utopian Ray and Milkchi. Oh, uh, you just hate to see that. All, all that. It definitely, though. They're, 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 they're laughing it off. Yeah. They're, they're like they all know each other. They, they understand it sucks. But like, come on. Uh, can bro. we just acknowledge Car Carxum has the human decency to actually disconnect his pro controller? God bless. I know. It, it, bless. He's, he's a good man. Oh, you hate to see that happen. <laughs> Hit him with the quick L O L. 